thank you, Tim, uh, for the introduction. I think uh, Tim told most of what I have on this slide. My name is Sigurd. I work at Center for Industrial 3D Printing, where we are a big family. Third time this joke was uh, used. Um, of uh, passionate people inside additive manufacturing. So we worked on this project. I think I'll skip it because Tim already told it. Um, but the partners in the project was, of course, the initiating uh, company, Danish AM Hub, but also uh, Danish Techno Technological Institute, PLM Group, Vic Factory, and Hexagon. So now I'll show you three of the great cases from the project where we have like generative design, we used lattice structures, we had a lot of weight reduction. Um, so, yeah, let's see. First of all, we have the company called Airflight. They are a hard tech startup who uh, makes one of the, some of the world's largest uh, multi-rotors, which is actually just oversized drones, to use inside the wind turbine industry to lift components, spare parts, and tools. Um, their challenge was that they have had this uh, hinge here. So every drone, they are pretty huge, they are higher than me actually, had eight arms. Um, and uh, every arm has one of these hinges. So they wanted to make the hinge as light as possible to um, in, uh, yeah, increase the carry capacity that should be 200 kilos, but also the other way around, maybe the flight time of the drone. Um, and also, it should be able uh, better to assemble uh, the, this drone on the, on the side. So first of all, we did like a design optimization of the part. We changed the material from aluminum to titanium, which meant we were able to uh, have like a pretty significant uh, reduction of uh, volume um, because titanium is more strong. Um, and also, then we had a hexagon do some magic with generative design, as you saw in the video here. Um, they were able to take out all of the material that wasn't necessary to withstand the loads of the drone, both on the ground and in the air. So what came out of this was the part you actually see right here. Um, it's pretty, yeah, it's huge, titanium part. Um, and we had a weight reduction of 67%, which is quite a lot. That actually means we are able to lift more than 11, uh, oh, we're able to lift 11 kilos more at a time using the drone or fly a bit more. Um, the price was increased by 68%, but in aviation, weight is like a goal factor, so it's no problem to pay a bit more for this hinge to get the more flight, more flight time or uh, more carry capacity. The next case is uh, from Ceramic Speed, and maybe some of you have uh, know that we 3D print some lightweight titanium pulley wheels. Um, also, Casper Esclain used some of their cages uh, on the uh, time trial in uh, Copenhagen for the Tour de France. Um, but their challenge is a bit different. They make consumer products, and they have this cage right here. It's made in carbon-filled uh, PA, um, and they wanted to make like an exclusive product. So how can we do that? So what we did was we used, it, uh, used additive manufacturing to change the material to titanium, which, is, which already is a bit exclusive material, like the pulley wheels are. And then we added like lattice structures, like you see on the picture here. Um, to make it even more exclusive and give it a crazy look to it. And it's, I think it's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. Um, what this meant was that, of course, the weight increased because we went from a polymer to titanium. But if we have printed this solid uh, compared to the lattice structure, we would actually have had a 43% higher weight on the part. Um, but this case was all about giving an exclusive look to uh, one of the components. Um, so yeah, with the design freedom of additive manufacturing and like 
uh, lattice structures, which is one of the great uh, AM features, we were able to, to make like this crazy and cool uh, component here. The last case for today, I think, is maybe uh, the best case from the whole project. It was done with uh, Baby. Um, Baby is a company who specializes in uh, what we in Denmark call Flamingo. They mold stuff, uh, packaging for food, for uh, products and tools. Um, and I'm pretty sure you have all uh, seen or had some of their projects in their hand, but didn't know it was Baby who, who did it. Baby had a challenge. They have this insert for one of their molds. It's uh, pretty complicated to, to uh, manufacture. Um, it's made out of uh, three parts. It's very expensive and it has its limitations to um, design freedom, to the shapes they are able to mold. And that's like one of uh, the big reasons they want to, to look into uh, additive manufacturing to get more new shapes and maybe make uh, this uh, mold um, cheaper to do. So, what we did was that first of all, we reduced the components from three to one. Um, and then after that, we had again Hexagon doing their magic with generative design, removing all excess material that wasn't necessary to withstand the loads inside this molding process. And what came out of that is the part you see there. Uh, I have it right here. It's still aluminum, like the uh, original material. Um, but the weight has actually increased with 74%. And one of the reasons why we do that was to reduce the price on the part as well. The pr price is now more than half uh, of what it was before. Uh, so it's a pretty good business case to them. Also, we actually ended up reducing the lead time by more than 25%, if you ask Ole from uh, Baby. And what the main feature of this was actually to give them more um, design freedom, to create more complicated shapes and to uh, like do customized uh, parts on it. So um, yeah, this is, uh, we are really happy with this inside our family uh, and also uh, AM Hub and the partners. Okay, so. Right now, I'm just going to say uh, thank you. And if you want to hear more about these projects, come to uh, the display inside the exhibition area where Technologisk Institute will uh, show you more of these parts from the project and other great examples from the industry. And if you are interested in similar projects, don't hesitate to reach out to uh, Danish AM Hub, to me or my colleagues and we will uh, try to help you um, make great designs like this you can uh, use in, as an in component. So thank you very much for your time. <laughs>